Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad that you are here. Today's topic is you are moving into the greatest era, the greatest time of your life, the highest timeline. So get ready. And how do I know this? Why is this coming up today? Why did you click on this video? Let's start there. You clicked on this video for a reason. There are no coincidences, there are only synchronicities. So if this is your first time seeing me or on my channel and this video just coincidentally happened to find you, again, there are no coincidences, it's synchronicity and we are in alignment. And this probably came up for you at just the perfect time. But there's no such thing as the perfect time, which you already know, there's only divine timing. And that is why you clicked on this video, that's it why we're in alignment and why this message, this message resonated with you before we even do a deep dive into the actual topic. So you're moving into the greatest era of your life, the greatest timeline, your highest, most fulfilling, happy, abundant, healthiest, wealthiest, uh, adventurous, amazing life that you want to create. And <clears throat> you've probably been going through some of the most difficult times in the past weeks, in the past months, probably the past couple of years, you've been going through a lot of transitions, a lot of letting go of the past, a lot of letting go of old relationships, of letting go of toxic situations, of toxic uh, environments, whether it be you know an old workplace or an old apartment or a city or a state that you used to live in. You've been going through a lot of changes these past couple of years and it's been challenging. It's tested you time after time again on, you know, what should I be doing? Am I doing the right thing? What do you want me to do? Where should I go? Why, uh, why is my life crumbling down? Why did I lose my job? Why did my partner cheat on me? Or why did I wake up and see that this workplace is no longer good for me and I quit my job and I have no idea what I'm going to do? Whatever it looks like for you, it's been challenging to say the least the past weeks, the past few months, the past few years. I know that you're moving into the greatest era of your life, the greatest timeline, and you've actually already shifted there. So this is confirmation for you that you've already shifted there. You just need some time for reality, your physical environment to catch up to the energetic shift that you've been experiencing and creating over these past couple of years. So although your consciousness, your self-awareness has raised exponentially, there's a little bit of lag time that you need in order for these changes you've made internally, spiritually, energetically for your external 3D physical reality to catch up, to vibrate, but it's all happening right now. And here are some signs that we'll talk about or confirmations, reminders that you already know. Through the past couple of months, through the past couple of years, you have learned a lot of life lessons, a lot of powerful lessons about you know, people about trust, most importantly about yourself and how you view people and relationships and situations, how you're able to handle things. What is your belief system around money, around what your life is about, your ability to create the life that you want. You've learned a lot of lessons, both physical, tangible lessons and also spiritual lessons about how things work energetically, law of attraction, manifestation, these things. You've put in the time, you've put in a lot of time healing your wounds, forgiving the past, your parents, your siblings, your other relatives, past lovers, significant others, uh, co-workers, whatever it is, you've put in a lot of time healing and forgiving the past and the relationships. You've put in the work to become self-aware. How did I respond to these situations? Who was I being in my life to attract these certain circumstances? What were they teaching me? And you've let go of a lot of people. You've let go a lot of, uh, places, a lot of things, a lot of relationships. So by going through these past difficult months, weeks, months, years, and learning these relationships, uh, these lessons about relationships, about people, about work, about money, all comes down to improving your self-awareness, learning about yourself. You've now learned so many crucial lessons, basically healed a lot of major traumas in your life for yourself and your family and your ancestors you've kind of transcended this and now you've come out the other side as someone who is more enlightened, more self-aware, kinder at heart, understanding that everyone's doing the best they can because you've been through so much crap yourself. You just come have come out a kind person because you don't want other people to suffer the way that you have. 
but you've healed. You actually might be at a point where right now nothing is happening. So you've gone through this challenging and painful period of healing the past and you're clear on what you want, but now maybe it's really quiet in your life. All of a sudden, like the dust has settled. It's almost kind of weird because you're used to being in this working on myself mode moving forward, but now it's kind of quiet and you're like wondering, well, what's going on? This is how you know you're about to be blessed big time. You're moving into this highest timeline. You've put the work in and done what you need to do. And now this lag time, this period of quietness of this solitude of being in peace, not much is going on around you. You almost feel kind of like, okay, I know what I want, but like, whoa, nothing's happening, but what am I supposed to be doing? You're in the period of transition. You're right in the middle in which that point, all the changes you have made internally, now your external reality is starting to catch up. Now it's starting to catch up to where you are energetically, to where you are spiritually, to where you are consciously. You're attracting a whole new life into your reality as a result of the work you've done. So you're moving into this highest timeline where you're abundant, you're working for yourself or have a, or you're working for someone else maybe, whatever it looks like for you, but you're making more money than you ever have. You're helping people, you're doing work that is purposeful, that aligns with your soul, that lights you up, that gets you excited. You're moving into this life. Your health is getting better. You find yourself just not wanting to eat, eat the way you used to or drink some of the th same things or go to the places you used to go to. You've changed. You are changing. Now your reality is catching up. So this is especially true, again, if your things are really quiet. You're like, what do I do? What's going on? Maybe even almost feeling kind of lost or what's happening? This is the calm before the storm and the storm in a good way where you're going to dance in the rain. That's amazing. It is so beautiful what's happening right now. Your seeds that you planted, all this work that you did on yourself, taking care of your garden, taking care of your farm. What's happening right now is this is the period of peace, of quiet, before everything sprouts up through the ground and all of a sudden you're reaping this amazing harvest and all these amazing people and places, these opportunities, these experiences are all coming into your reality now that weren't there before. That's what's happening. And especially again, if this is quiet, if it's quiet right now, this is a very good sign. This is a very good sign. Just relax and rest. Take care of yourself. Focus on what you need to focus on because when things start changing, that's what this period of rest is for. This is what this period of isolation is, be is for. So you can have time to ground into yourself, your new energy, get to know yourself, to be quiet and peaceful in your own mind so that when you are meeting a lot of the new people and the right people, you're going to be so grounded in who you are and know what's going on that automatically, like you've done this work. It's the period of, it's quiet right now so you can sleep. Catch up on sleep, get on your nutrition, get on your body, take care of your body. Rest physically, mentally, and emotionally because again, when the physical reality starts to manifest and catch up to how you've changed energetically, you're going to need the rest, you're going to need the energy, you're going to need the time and attention in order to take advantage of all these opportunities and these blessings that are being sent your way. So you're being called to rest right now and relax and enjoy that you've upgraded, that you've reached this new level. That's what's happening. What's happened is all the hardship and all the lessons now have prepared you for takeoff and you're taking off. All the challenges have been preparing you for takeoff. That's what's happening. Now that you've learned a lot of the major lessons in your life, of course, we're never ending, we're never growing, but you've healed so many of the major karmas, the major traumas in your life. The, this is what's happening right now. Now that you've healed that long of these major like sabotaging cycles in your family line and for you, all those have been to learn not to make those mistakes again. Now you're wiser. So you've healed these family karmas, these family traumas through your ancestral line, through your lineage. Now that you've learn the major lessons and the fatal flaws, now you're ready. This is how you also know that you're taking off into the greatest era of your life, the greatest timelines, because you've healed a lot of these super painful things. You've let go of major karmic ties, relationships that used to be important that no longer are, because these people don't resonate with the new version of you who's better, who's smarter, who's uh, sexier, who's healthier, who's uh, wealthier, who's happier, who's vulnerable, who's powerful, who's generous and authentic, who's conscious, who's spiritually awake, who's kind, who's giving. This is you. You're growing into that person. This is you now. 
That's why you're watching this. This is confirmation for you. Everything in your life is going to begin to change on the outside. Just keep vibrating and focusing and doing what got you here. All the changes and the hard work you put in that doesn't stop. You get to rest a second and relax and enjoy. Refocus yourself. Do not rest on your laurels. Get ready because the universe is about to bless you big time. You're taking off. I promise you that. That's what all those lessons were. That's what all the hard times were. That's what all the challenges are for. And now that's why it's also quiet right now. That's why it can seem lonely right now. It's supposed to be quiet so you can gather your thoughts. It's supposed to be quiet so you can rest, relax and sleep and take care of your body and exercise because you're gonna need this stuff as things start to happen. You're about to be blessed in a major way. You're already on that timeline. So you can see the light at the end of the tunnel or you just experienced your first major breakthrough. That's how you also know that you're moving into your highest timeline. You just got, uh, you just closed on that house. You just got a new job. You just got um, your first big break in your business. You first got a huge loan to expand your business. So you can either see the light at the end of the tunnel or you can feel that it's coming or you've just experienced your first breakthrough or beginning breakthroughs, maybe small or big. This is the season in which now you're no longer struggling and now what's happening is you're going to get blessing after blessing after blessing after blessing, each one being bigger and greater than the next. So that's what's happening. So you can either see the light at the tunnel or you've just had your first breakthrough. Get ready, now the breakthroughs are going to come through because again, now your physical reality is catching up with the energetic and spiritual upgrades and alignment that you've been working so hard on these past couple of years, maybe longer but you're being blessed, it's on the way, guys. So, things, people, situations, opportunities are all going to come in effortlessly, they're gonna come in easily, they're gonna come in simultaneously. You're just gonna have some random stuff, quote unquote, random stuff happen, and then this is gonna fall into place, and then this is gonna fall into place. So what's important right now is two things. The universe doesn't give you what you want, it gives you who you are. So in order to receive all of these blessings that are coming into your life, you've really got to ground in and reinforce your worthiness, your level of self-worth, because these blessings cannot come in unless you're vibrating at a high level of worth. Not entitlement, but expectation of worth, knowing that you deserve to have all this come in your life. You've done the work, you're being blessed. But if you resort back to the old you, the old habits, the old way of thinking, your vibration is lowering, you're going back into your old self-worth, none of the new blessings can come in. So you've got to be on this self-worth that as you get blessed, affirm it that you deserve this and that even better things are coming in because they are. So as you begin to experience this new reality that you've been working hard to create, ground into it, it's your self-worth, keep improving and setting boundaries and doing the things you need to do to take care of yourself, to show yourself you're worthy. You just are, just be worthy, right? But do these practices because as you begin to ground into the new level of very high self-worth and your boundaries are set, you know what you deserve and what you want in this life, continue to vibrate at that level, that's how the blessings are gonna come in. And they're gonna come in fast and they're gonna come, come in big ways, it's awesome. So ground into your energy and accept whatever current circumstances are. So if you're still in that period of letting go on the challenges, just accept it for what it is. This is your confirmation that all these things are coming. Continue to future pace, put yourself in the future, ground into your self-worth. The blessings will come, the changes will start to happen. So ground into this new energy, this new vibration of who you are, and also be crystal clear on what it is you're manifesting. So hold the vision in your mind as you ground into this new level of self-worth. As you ground into this new level of self-worth, this vibration here and now with me on this video, and hold the vision in your mind of what you're creating, this is so magnetic, such a positive energy where you are literally just hanging out here with your plants, with your pets. And I got my little doggy over here, I'm sure you saw him in the beginning. And know that this good energy that's coming in is just gonna get better and better and better and better and better and better. This is what is happening. This is the alignment you're in now. So grounded in your energy, be crystal clear on what you want. Pay attention to the synchronicities, the numbers, the chance encounters, the meetings, the music, the song lyrics that you heard, the random call you got, the different opportunities coming up, the same words and sayings you're hearing over and over, the same type of people coming in your life. Pay attention to these synchronicities. You're being guided at this time. So it's very important you're grounded 
So you can pay attention to the synchronicities because these are also leading you to the opportunities, the blessings, the gateways that are unexpected. Ground into your self-worth and be crystal clear on what you want. Ground into your worthiness and be open to change. This is the season of miracles. This is when good things are going to start to happen for you one after another. You are in the season of miracles. Things are going to happen, but you have to be open to it looking weird, to it looking different because it is. It's something new. It's something greater than what you've been used to. So it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel different as it should because this is a new reality. So be open. This is also why it's important to be grounded. Don't be scared. Don't go back into fear. Be grounded. This is what you asked for. Be open to the change of the different experiences. This is what's going down right now, guys. You feel it? If this resonates with you and you know this is you, let me know down in the comments right now. Hit the like button as well. Please share this video if you know someone who's been on a ruined streak and they're just getting blessed. That's also your confirmation. If your friends, your family are getting blessed, this is also confirmation that people that are in close proximity to you, you're about to be blessed too. So let me know in the comments if this is you, if this resonates with you, because this is what's going down right now. This is what you've worked so hard on creating. You're at the threshold. You're literally at the doorway stepping through. It's only going to get better and better and better. So if this is you. Please let me know. The quote I'll leave with you, lead you with today. Work joyfully and peacefully, knowing that right thoughts and right efforts inevitably bring about the right results. This is James Allen, author of As a Man Thinketh, which I highly recommend you read as well. I'm pretty sure you can get a free PDF online. James Allen, As a Man Thinketh, PDF. Just Google that, and that's a fantastic book. It's like an older version of Think and Grow Rich, uh, but highly recommend that. So uh, obviously, change the scenery today, guys. I tried to set up my camera, but all my batteries are dead, and my microphone site has just been sitting in storage. So I'm charging all my stuff, but I'm setting up my little studio and uh, yeah, have my nice camera out and, and make these videos a little more polished, a little more professional. The message remains the same. The setup, the presentation will just be a little more polished. Uh, but nonetheless, I really appreciate you for being here on this planet, working on yourself, raising the vibration, improving your own life. Because as you vibrate higher, a rising tide raises all ships. You raise up the people around you. This is how we improve the positive vibration of the collective. And most importantly, manifest the life that we each desire, the vision you have. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. You are about to be blessed. Own it. You've been working for it. Ground into the self-worth. Ground into the worthiness. Be open to the synchronicities. Be open to different, new, and kind of weird or uncomfortable situations in a good way. These are your blessings. The stuff you're not used to, you're getting upgraded. You're in the upgrade. So I'll see you next time, guys. Love you so much. Peace.